The plot to rob two men in southwest suburban Joliet turns deadly. Police say four friends tried to dismember the bodies but couldn't. The gruesome murder scene took place at a home in the 1100 block of North Hickory Street. ABC 7's Michelle Gallardo is live in Joliet with the latest on the investigation. Michelle. Karen, all four suspects are being held in Will County Jail, though bond has been set in the amount of $10 million. And while one of them is said to be the son of a local police sergeant, we're told he will receive no special treatment. Nobody in the world should have to go through this. Nobody in the world should have to lose their child from heinous crimes like this. The circumstances are so bizarre, it sounds like a plot straight out of a bad movie. It is demonic. It is demonic. This is evil. According to Joliet Police, it was around 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon when they got a call saying there might be dead bodies in this home on the 1100 block of North Hickory Street. Published reports quote the police chief as saying that when officers walked into the home, there was a party atmosphere. Three young adults, including the son of a Joliet police sergeant, were surprised playing video games. All the while, the mutilated bodies of 22-year-old friends Eric Glover and Terrence Rankins, missing since Wednesday night, lay nearby. The men had been strangled, and there was an attempt to dismember them. You don't do that to a human being. What they did, you do, you don't, you don't, this is unthinkable. You're cold hearted, you, something's not right in your head. Police say Glover and Rankins were lured to the home, robbed, and then killed. In all, four people were arrested and charged with murder. They are the home's tenant, 18 year old Alyssa Mazzaro, 18 year old Bethany McKee, 24 year old Joshua Minor, and 19 year old Adam Landerman, the police sergeant's son. I'm coming home to an empty house. They have taken my baby. Right. I don't know how you can move on from something like this. I don't know how you can send you to your life knowing that the person you love so much is gone. There's been some speculation that drugs may have played a part in this crime, but that has not been confirmed as of yet. The Joliet police made no comment on the investigation today. Live in Joliet, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC 7 News. Ravi, back to you. All right, Michelle, thank you very much.